In this video today, I'm going to be organizing a 58 gigabyte music library. I think it is. If I right click this and go to get info, yeah, 58 gigabytes. It has 9,000 tracks and we're going to try and organize this in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a look at the music library. So we're going to open up this and all it has is three folders, blues, party, I'm a piano beats, party dance Afro, Afro beats and party music 217. This, I'm guessing this DJ is a blues Afrobeats DJ. So let's have a look in some of these folders. So inside Blues um, just has a bunch of MP3 tracks, which is cool. Inside uh, Party Afrobeats, same thing. Not that many in here. Um, inside Party Dance Afrobeats, there's quite a few tracks in here. So I'm guessing this DJ is a big Afrobeats DJ. And in Party Music 217, there's a whole load of MP3s in here, man. So, um, so first of all, what we're going to do is remove all the MP3s out of this folder. And um, we're going to separate them out and then we're going to organize the rest of the folders in here. So I'm only going to be organizing the MP3s. So if you've got an MWA, M4A, any other audio files, I can't do those, but I'm going to organize them for this DJ. So first of all, what we're going to do is move them out. So on the left hand side is my brand new tool, Music Library Tools, which is going to be out soon. If you want to be the first to know when it's coming out, check the link in the description down below. So what we're going to do first is click this folder icon up here and we're going to select this folder. So we're going to go to Music, Music Library 3, DJ Dims, and then press open. Now this is pointed to this Music Library. What we're going to do first is we're going to click Move Out. Move Out is going to take out all the MP3s out of the folder. So if I click this, you can now see that a new folder has been created, all music new. So if I open this up, all of the MP3s are now going to be inside this folder, right? So if I come out of this and then I go back into DJ Dims, if I go into Blues, you can only see JPEG, LNK file. Open this up, we have album album art small jpeg open this up we've got an mp4 file we've got an a we've got another mp4 file we've got a wav file we've got another wav file and then if i close these and then we check the last one this just has a bunch of mwas we have another folder in here with nothing in and then in here you, just, you can just see a bunch of M mp4 files which we're not going to organize we're just going to organize the mp3s so what we're going to do is we're going to run another script so if i just put this on the top right down here, we're going to run another script called Analyze and Clean Up. What this is going to do is going to take all the other file formats and group them all together. So I'm just going to press up and then we're going to clear this off. And we're just going to get the folder path for this folder. So I'm just going to click here and click Get Info. I'm going to grab this folder path here. I'm just going to paste it here. So if we have a look in other files, you can start to see that other folders are being created. So we have A files in here, we have any e files, we have M4As and we have MP4s, etc. So all these other file formats have been grouped together. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this out. So now inside DJ Dims, if we go into blues now, there shouldn't be anything in there. Anything in Party Afrobeats is gone. Party Dance Afrobeats is gone and Party Music 217, if we just go into this folder here, nothing's in here, nothing's in here, and nothing's in here. So what we can actually do is delete all four of these folders. So now inside DJ Dims, there's nothing in there. So what we're gonna do is now we're just gonna move in our all music folder into DJ Dims, and we're gonna leave other files out here for the time being. We're just gonna rename this to music. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna analyze this music folder, and we're gonna extract out the instrumentals, the remixes, because I can't work with remixes on here, because say for example, I do a mashup, what track do I get the year of? What track do I get the genre of, etc. So remixes just get tagged with remix and then we can sort them out at a later date. And then the tracks that are missing metadata, in this script, it does clean up some of them, but the tracks that can't be cleaned up, they get put into a separate folder as well. So if I just go back into here, um, we're gonna go back to Music Library Tools. Remember, if you're, if you're interested in this app, check the link in the description down below. So we're gonna come back down to here and we're gonna click up again. And we're just going to get the folder path. So I believe it's inside DJ Dims forward slash music. I'm just going to press enter. And then what's going to start happening is it's going to start getting all the acapellas, the instrumentals and all that stuff and start to move these tracks into their specific folders. So here you can see it working right now. Now, if we wait a second, wait for it to finish, because there is quite a few tracks in here, so it's going to take a while. Um, if I now click in here and then click kind at the top up here, you can start to see some new folders. So we have acapella with all the acapellas in it, all the instrumentals, all the missing metadata like we spoke about earlier, other files, which are going to be HTML files, it seems, SFK files. So what I'm just going to do is just before we finish this off, I'm going to pick up these two in here, just drag them out into the other files one in here. And I'm going to delete other files. And then also, like I mentioned earlier, remixes all go into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just highlight these and then put all these four folders into a folder called uh, to sort. 
move them out one folder and we're going to deal with them later. Now, all these tracks in here are the tracks that we're going to organize today. We're going to import these tracks into Serato to see what kind of metadata this DJ has and see what we can work with. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean them up and organize them all. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Serato and we're going to go to the music library. And then we're just going to go into music, DJ Dims, music, and we're just going to drag this over here. Now it's going to take a while because obviously it needs to import 9,000 tracks. Now looking at this music library, you can see that this DJ genres are just a bit all over the place because what's 9JA hip hop? We have 80s, we have 2000s. But then if you see here, if you see here, there's a bunch of gaps here. Um, and then if we come down, there's just a bunch of random things in here, but we have Afrobeats, we have blues, we have some random flexi music, NG, etc. cetera. Um, then you come down and then it's just a bunch of other ones. And then you obviously have all the non-genre ones. I feel like it's really important for all DJs to have the genre and the years for all their tracks. And this is what I'm going to work with. But if I have a look on the left-hand side, they do have a few odd bits, um, like these stars in here. So I don't know if I can actually clean these up. So if I just search for stars in here, it's quite a few tracks with stars. So I'm not too sure what's gonna happen when I scan this music library, but we're gonna see what happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to music library tools. Like I said earlier, if you wanna be the first to get music library tools when it first comes out, check the link in the description down below. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the genre. So I'm just gonna go to the folder up here and we're just gonna double check that we're inside the correct folder. So I'm gonna go to desktop, music, music library, three dj dims and then music so i'm going to go to open and we're going to clear the genre for all these tracks it's going to take a while so i'll be back in a minute right so all the genres are cleared up so now we're going to clear up all the years Right, so that's all the years and genres cleaned up. So if we go back into Serato right now and I click rescan ID free tags, you can so you can start to see these tracks starting to clean up. So you can see no genres starting to pop up and you can start to see that 000 is gonna start popping up in the year. So now that's all done. The years and genres for all these tracks have now been cleared. Now, what we're gonna do is run one of the biggest features in Music Library Tools, which is gonna get the year and the genre for all these tracks. Now, it's not gonna get the, it's not gonna get the year and tracks for every single track because that's gonna be impossible, but it's gonna do a very very good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. This has 9,000 tracks. So it's going to take a bit of time, but once it's all finished, I'm going to show you the end results. So I'm going to click this and it started the script. So yeah, once it's all finished, I'll be back with you. Right, so now the script is finished. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to Serato and we're going to rescan the ID free tags and we're going to see the end result for scanning the year and genres. Right, so as you can see, it's all been organized now. So you can see at the top, this DJ is a massive Afrobeats DJ because there's a lot of Afrobeats in here. There's a lot of Amma Piano in here. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down, have a look at this. So then it goes into classics. So all your shares, Believe in Love, Diana Rosses are inside the classics. Scroll down a little bit more. We've got commercials. So like Christina Aguilera, Ed Sheeran, all fits into there. Scroll down a little bit more. So we've got some dance music in here, dance all music, um, hip hop music. If you have a look on the right hand side under composer, um, you have like Miami hip hop, pop rap, you got East Coast hip hop, gangster rap. So it's kind of subcategorized up. So this DJ can make sub crates based on gangster rap or Canadian hip hop, etc. So scroll down a little bit more. So we've also got um, some Latin music in here as well. And we also, so this is where we, so, so this is what I need to explain. So no genre, these are the tracks that couldn't be found. Now, if you have a look on the left hand side, you can see a bunch of these stars. I wouldn't be surprised if the, if it could, if the script couldn't find it because of these um, things here. So this is all based on kind of the um, the DJ doing this. So that might be why these tracks didn't get no genre. But also as well, some of these tracks are might be underground Afrobeats tracks that Spotify doesn't have. So it couldn't get the information from there. So if I scroll down a little bit more, there's obviously a lot of tracks in there that have no genre. If I scroll down a little bit more. So now we also have other in the genre as well. So these are genres that haven't been covered yet but in future updates of music library tools i am going to be updating these genres so going forward you're going to get free updates on the app um, and then you're not going to have that many others in your music library so if i scroll down a little bit more we've also got some r&b in here and we've got some soul music and some uk music now the, the dj's music library is all sorted we need to do one more thing and organize their folders so if i just open this up you can see on the right hand side that this music library is just full of mp3s there's no organization so what we're going to do is just we're going to do one more thing and um, we're going to run the script in music library tools which is called move to genre so i'm just going to double check that we're in the right folder so i'm going to go to the folder select folder dj dims music 
and we're gonna press open. And all I'm gonna do now is click move to genre. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna scan all the tracks in here, make the genre folders, and then move all those tracks into those genre folders. So if you look on the right hand side now, you can see that all that stuff is working. Right, so that's all finished. All the MP3 tracks have disappeared, but now inside all these folders, you've got Afrobeats, You've got Amma Piano in here, classics, commercial, hip hop, rap, house. The two folders, no genre. So no genre in here. This DJ can go into this folder and organize this later on. They can add the tags in manually because there's only going to be a few tracks in here now. Whereas it's the rest of the of the rest of the music library is all tagged and up to date with the genre and the year. So they only have to go through this folder here and this folder here. Then you've got your R&B, you've got your reggae, you've got your remix, uh, you've got your Soca, Soul and UK music. Now, if you wanna send your music library over to me, check the link in the description down below. If you wanna be one of the first to get music library tools when it's available, check the link in the description down below. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.